Hello you guys, welcome back to my day two vlog, uh, switching rooms technically now, it's going to be called setting up my room slash craft room because I got everything moved down here besides my bed and dresser because that stuff was really heavy and I have to wait for my brothers. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how much progress I got done now since it's a school night and it's really late right now and I'm like ugh, really tired. Um, this is probably going to go into day three as well, so it's like day two slash day three vlog of setting up my room and organizing and everything. So, um, I'll probably film more tomorrow. Wait, no. Saturday? I don't know. It's because I think I have plans for tomorrow. So I think Saturday will be my setting up my room and organizing and everything. Actually going through things and organizing and filming and editing day. Anyway. So, um, by the time you probably see this you'll see my other vlog on here. I'm hoping. I hope I have it up. Anyways, um, if you guys are wondering what this is behind me, um, it's actually a table that has my bathroom stuff. Well, some of my bathroom stuff. Some of it is not my bathroom stuff. I have to bring down into my room because I just brought the box here. Yeah, I'll show you guys. So, as you guys can see, this was from my room and I just covered a, um, to, uh, not just one shoe box with wrapping paper and then just make little slots and then as you can see I'm miscellaneous things but I have my toothbrush and wrapping stuff and then I'll have more stuff under here so I don't have to run up two floors just to brush my teeth when I have a bathroom down here but I have to run up the second floor just to take a shower but I want to have this here and I thought this was really cute just sitting here and then I have the rug here and I think this is really cute so let's go downstairs and I'll show you guys how much progress I got done and meaning progress, meaning putting things in the room, not technically organizing. <laughs> okay, so remember how I had this whole area just stuff and on this table. Actually, I still have a few things on this table. But um, um, I had so much stuff. Well, I put them in the room and the craft room. And I still have some stuff here. But like these bins that were under my bed when I was cleaning out my room, but I can't put that on my bed because I don't have my bed because my mattress is on the floor and my bed is upstairs. So, yeah. But I still have my, um, wall stuff here. And then, obviously, my jewelry thing because I had to get, um, damage-free wall strips since this is concrete walls and everything. So, let's go into the craft room so I can show you what I got done. And then we can go into my bedroom, which is on the other side. Okay, I'm going to show you guys an overview. Okay, so this is my craft room, and here, I'll show you how big it is from right here. See you guys. Um, well, it's in progress, as you guys can see. I just pushed um, all my craft stuff in here because I cannot go to sleep if there's a mess. At least if it's in one place, I'm okay, but I could not go to sleep without it being here, so I had to put everything in here so I just put everything against the wall right here and I have to go through these bins but thank goodness I'm organized because it doesn't look like I have to do that much if you guys can see I just have to make sure nothing like got damaged when I was moving things but I started organizing my desk as you guys can see and then I got really tired and lazy, and then I just threw everything on here, as you guys can see. But I have to go through all this stuff, and I will. I'm just really tired, and yeah. And then in here is this, actually this is a wardrobe. This is what it looks like, hold on. See? And I actually just threw stuff in here. Um, there's nothing in the drawers yet, but um, I just threw things in here. Luckily, this was had this thing here, so I can hang up this, and uh, this, uh, ironing board thing for my sewing, as you guys can see, and then I put, no, I just put miscellaneous stuff in here, because, like I said before, I haven't really organized it, I haven't exactly set it up like I want it to be, because I just threw things in here, because I was really, really tired, so, I um, I have to do that, and I think that's my next goal when I next have time and filming to do, because, like I said, I wanted you guys to be part of this, so, yeah, but I just have stuff here, and I really don't want to organize it, but I know I need to because I will feel so much better. Hold on, let me focus this camera. Okay, 
So, yeah. Alright, let's go into my bedroom, and I'll show you guys what my room looks like. Well, for right now, I mean, until I get more furniture and stuff. Okay, so this is what my bedroom looks like. I'll give you guys an overview again. And then this is my clothes. Actually, I gotta organize my clothes because, um, I, um, oh my gosh, my old closet, I had it very organized. And now it's all bunched up, and it's, oh, it's driving me insane, but, you know, I have to do that. So then I have my drawers on the floor right now, as you guys can see. And then I have this stuff here. Well, I have my sheets washed. And then I had it made and everything. And then I'm a clumsy klutz, so I accidentally whacked my drink on 2D carpet. That's why it looks like this right now. It looks like kind of wet because it's still drying from yesterday. Because I had to clean it with a carpet cleaner. Because this is so low, you guys. Like, look how low this is. I'm not used to my bed this low. And this thing is so low. Because I'm a clumsy klutz, too. So, that's... And I just accidentally whacked it. And, yeah, I wasn't really thrilled. I was really kind of pissed off. But, anyways. Um, so I kind of, kind of have to make my bed now. And then I have laundry to put away, too. Because I did more laundry. So, I think that will give me a chance to actually see what I'm going to do. And then I have to look over my room. Right now, it just looks... Oh, it looks messy. I don't want to look at it. But, at least I got kind of my shoes until they fell. Oh, my God. I'm going to get frustrated in two minutes. Okay, well, I have my shoes all nicely until this fell. So, I really got to organize it. But, that's an overview of my room. So, I think I'm going to end this day two vlog here. Um, soon. One time. At least make my bed so I can show you guys what it looks like at least and then clean it up just a tad bit and then I'm gonna end it because I'm really tired and then I will go on to day three next time I go. So I'm gonna make my bed now. Yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> well I'm hoping that this is gonna get done so and then I have to go shopping too because I have to get stuff like I said before and I also still have stuff out here too. You guys still have stuff out there. Um, I don't know if my brother's friend, uh, she lived down here. I don't know if she's going to let me keep this, but I'm hoping she will because I think it's so pretty, you guys, um, without this stuff around. Hold on. Um, it looks like this. It's so pretty, so I'm hoping I'm going to ask her if I can keep it. So, yeah, but I'm hoping if she does let me keep it, I can hang it up, and then hopefully I can get the stuff I can hang up my stuff on my walls because it, these walls are plain, you guys, and... The bad thing about this is that you can see the pipes because they're so low because I can't move them, obviously, because they're built into the house. But, you know, at least I have my own craft room and everything, and, you know, it's really nice. But once I get it set up, I think it will be really homey and everything. And, you know, I can't wait to see that result. But I'm going to make my bed and start cleaning up this so at least you guys can see what it looks like when it's clean. And because the mess is really bothering me. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start making my bed and kind of just cleaning up my shoes and I'm start putting my clothes away and then cleaning up my nice hands. So it can actually look a little bit more decent in here because it really needs to because it kind of got out of hand and it's bothering me now and I'm like, my OCD is just kicking in. So I'm going to make my bed first because I feel like that just makes the room even more cleaner. So yeah. everything it looks so much better and i organized right here you guys it just looks so much better and um i just really liked how it looks now because it just looks so much cleaner when you make your bed first and that's my tip is starting out at the bed because when you make your bed when you're cleaning it just looks so much better even it's already even cleaner and everything and then work your way around your room that's my tips for you know cleaning well that's one of my tips so now that I have my bed made and my sheets are all cleaned and my covers are, or my duvet cover, whatever you want to call it, is all clean and my pillowcases and my nice high stand is, you know, clean and everything. That's not my, you know, my nice high stand, but for right now it's temporary. A lot of the stuff right now is temporary. I'm going to 
put my clothes away because I really need to. And then I'm going to start organizing my shoes. And I actually just empty my trash can because I really needed to. So, yeah, I'm just going to put these clothes away. Yay. I'm going to have so much fun doing that. But at least I can get at least my clothes hung up and then I can put these dirty clothes um, in the basket and then I can start tomorrow or Saturday whenever I have the time to do this is organize it because I like my clothes you know certain sections and everything that's just how my old closet was in because I'm an organizing freak so I'm gonna put this stuff away and fold it and then um put this somewhere hold it up and everything and I and I was organizing my book bag because I really need to since it was sitting right there so I might as well just do it so that's why I was organizing it it wasn't my plan it's just it just happened and then I'm gonna organize my shoe rack because apparently the shoes kind of fell and everything like as you can see and everything so I'm gonna do that and the reason why these are here is because um I don't have my dresser, so I kind of need my clothes down here, so that's why they're sitting on the floor if you guys are wondering. So I'm just going to do that. But I'm not going to film this because this is, like, long and everything, and I don't want it to be boring. So, yeah, I'm going to be right back. So, yeah. Okay, so now that I put my clothes away, thank goodness. Like I said before, I'm going to organize all this because I like my clothes organized because I'm just an organizing freak like that. Anyways, so I got that put away, and I feel so much better now. And like I said before, I'm glad this is cleaned up because it looks so much better you guys so now i just gotta clean up these shoes because it looks like a mess it was actually really organized but i don't know what's wrong with the shoe shelf it's like slipping so i gotta deal with it so i'm gonna do that now and clean it up so yeah So now that I got my shoe rack, that is all organized. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better than before how I did it. And I think I really like how this is set up. Um, actually, this thing um, expands. If you guys could see in the video that I was, like, it was moving because it kind of expands to how big you want it. And um, I don't really have that much shoes, not as much as my mom and my sister. But um, I got it all organized. So I have my boots, my uh, vans, and then these uh sandals and then i have these silver heels my tan heels these sandals and then i have my flip flops on the bottom so my uh kind of dressy but nice um what's it called uh nice flip flops and then i have my beach flip flops and my shower flip flops when i go to the beach um when we go to the shore house and everything so um i really like how this looks so much better um since this shelf is kind of hard it's like hard to sit up um, things on like boots and stuff so I had to like kind of lean it but it's okay at least it's all organized and it is off the floor so I really don't care how it looks honestly it looks really nice I like it how it looks and it's just super organized and just looks so much better you guys and I think it looks really nice um so I'm gonna end the vlog for the day two here because I'm really tired and I have to uh get to bed because I'm like it's really really late and it's school night so I will see you guys tomorrow, um, or Saturday, whatever. So, I will see you guys, um, on vlog day three. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to day three vlog. Now, I know this is going to be uploaded late than I wanted to, but I got caught up doing things, so that's why this vlog is going to be uploaded late. So I'm sorry that I did say that I was going to upload it on Sunday, Saturday. I don't remember now. But um, I'm sorry that I'm uploading this really late. So now that I'm done cleaning my room, I am going to start cleaning up this stuff now. I'm not going to film the whole thing because there is a lot to put away. But I'm going to show you some of my organizing techniques and stuff. Like, you know, what I think is helpful to organize things and how I keep my stuff organized. So, yeah, let's get started on this stuff. So, as you can see, I have all the stuff cleared out. And these drawers don't have anything in them. You can see, but I'm going to start putting stuff in them. Um, the only thing that's in this wardrobe 
um, is the stuff, like, I have to hang up my dresses because my rack doesn't, it's not, like, long enough for my things to hang down and everything, so I'm just hanging them in here, but that's okay. And then I have my ironing board here, but I'm not going to really do anything. So right here, actually behind here, I have my stand thing that I use to stand on my iPad, um, to, so I don't have to hold it and have it so low so that you guys can see when I'm filming and everything. And then right here, I'm just going to keep these stickers here. They're just uh, little folder things that have a bunch of scrapbook stickers. Now, I already have them organized. Um, I have them, like, organized by, like, letters and different types of pictures and some small stickers and some other just other stuff. But I'll show you that later on. Um... If, if it's not too long of a video because I don't want to make this too long. So I saw, showed you guys before I started cleaning my room and making my bed that I just started throwing stuff in here. But I already wiped everything down in here and I just threw everything in here. So now I took everything out and put it over there making more, even more mess. So now I want me to start putting things actually away in here. So I'm going to start probably on the shelves right here and just start going through stuff right here. So yeah. Okay, so I got um, a lot of the stuff that was on the table in on the top of these bins too in this wardrobe thing. Now I wanted to show you guys. Um, one of my favorite things is that I love labels. I feel like labels help me stay organized. Even though I'm really, really organized, I just like to see visually because some of the bins you can't obviously see what's inside so labels help to tell you what is exactly in that bin and that is one of my key things to staying organized like that is the one thing that helps me well one of the key things that help me stay organized and everything so i wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that i got in here so i just got some craft stuff in here like other stuff and as you can see you can read the label and know what's in it and i like that i have pastels in here you can see the label and then ribbon, foam brushes, uh, this is just wood. And then since this is a wardrobe, I have stuff hung up because that helps it to keep it off the f uh, thing, off the floor and everything. So then down here, I just have uh, my MacBook box, um, the stickers in here. I have a lot of stickers in here. Stickers right here, stickers, just this, all this is for stickers and everything. And then the stand that helps me stand up my iPad. And then on these shelves... I have books now some of them are like albums and stuff like this is family albums uh, this is just an album I haven't used yet because I don't know how to use it because it's really big this is actually my binder um, and I wanted to show you this really cool thing now if you guys have a bunch of templates the best thing what you want to do to keep them all organized since they have like the little hole punches is to put them in a binder it helps me to just keep them all in one spot and I really really like that a lot so I would recommend if you guys have a bunch of templates and it has the hole punch the three ring hole punch that helps you to keep them all in one spot instead of having them everywhere and everything so that's another organizing tip to put templates that have the three ring binder things to put in a binder um, and I have my journals right here the ones that I finished I don't know if you guys can see because it's kind of dark and then here I just have I didn't end craft stuff, and I know you guys can't see that, so I'm not going to show you what's in them, since I have it all kind of organized, and my album just fell, or my journal, whatever. Okay, so on this shelf, I just have my tubes of paint, now I, you guys can see through the bin, so, um, and then I have jewelry making stuff, and then in here, it's just other stuff, I have no idea what's in it. And then in here I have, well, this is just going to be temporary, but my nail polish is in here. Um, and you know I have a lot, you guys. Um, and then I just have the, oh man, it just ripped off the label. I'll fix it in a minute. So in here I have my, hold on, I gotta switch the bin. Uh, the rubber bands for the bracelet making stuff. Let's see? Come on, open. Um. And I just put it all in one box, and I just, instead of using that big black one, if you guys could see earlier in my other video, when I was moving down here, I had that big box. Well, I just put it in a smaller little container, and since they are just small, they always, you know, fit in here in a smaller container, so yeah. And then, let me just put that label back on. No, I'll do it later. Um, so then in this drawer, I have this bin, and it's just my seashells in here. I don't know if I can see um, I don't know what to put in these drawers yet. Oh, oh, that was loud. That drawer stuck. That's why 
just did that. But I don't know what to put in the drawer. I have one empty one, but I'll probably end up doing it later on. So that's a good thing I have an empty one. So that's what I did. Um, I just, like I said before, labels help me stay organized and everything. So I definitely recommend, even if you are very organized, labels just help you keep organized and know what's in the bins and everything. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick overview of that. So now what I'm doing over here is um, taking this uh, tray Actually, I have one right here too. It used to be on my nicest stand. This, I mean, the shelf for my nicest stand. And it just keeps everything gathered in one spot and contained and everything. So I'm just going to be putting this uh, stuff in this uh, jewelry tray. So, yeah. So now, as you guys can see, I put everything in this bin. Now, I like this even better than before because everything is in one spot. And I don't have to worry about it all over my desk and everything when I'm grabbing everything. Because then I can just put it right back in its spot. And it's right there when I need it. And it looks so nice because it's super organized. And I just think it looks so much better than before and everything. So I like these jewelry trays because um, it just keeps everything gathered and keep it in one spot and keeps it contained so it's not all over the place so I'm just gonna finish up cleaning over here so if you guys could see earlier I used this vase that I use for these fake flowers just to keep my scissors in because my, I have a lot of scissors and I have a lot more uh, decorative ones over there actually in that so I just use these little uh, bins and uh, or jars whatever you want to call them um, and vase to keep the scissors contained and this little candle holder thingy square thing so I'm just gonna start uh, finishing up cleaning up this desk and everything so yeah so now that I actually really cleaned up and uh, put things away on this table. It looks so much better. So this is what actually some of my bins look like. And they're actually still organized besides when me moving. It's just some of the stuff shift around. But as you guys can see, I have little things just lined up. And it goes with certain categories. That's another tip that I have for you guys is to, when you're organizing, put things in a category so that you know, like, what's, you know, it goes with it and everything. So this is, like, stamps and punch hold stuff. And, you know, as you can see, there's more stamping stuff here and everything. And this is just... Uh, I don't know if you guys see, this is like the Martha Stewart kit stuff in here, and glue gun stick stuff, and then the letters in the back from a while ago, and then I have in here embellishments for my scrapbooking, so like, I just categorize them by certain things and everything, you guys can see, so, um, that's another thing, categorize, you know, what's in the beast bins. Um, when you're organizing, so as you guys can see, I got a lot of stamping stuff from my birthday from someone. It was, like, passed on from them, and it was still brand new stuff, so they just gave it to me, which was really nice because this stuff is, like, a lot of money in Michaels and Hobby Lobbies and everything. And then in here, I just have my paint tubes and everything, and I just like all my paints in there. Um, I want to get a shelf so I can have them visually see, so I can see the colors, but right now, that's just temporary. So, but at least it's all in organized and everything and like I said before with the labels and everything it helps me to stay organized and then I have my knitting stuff and then other odds and ends and then over here is actually from my closet in my old room in my craft closet so I have jewelry stuff in here that I'm actually going to be putting in this drawer right here it's just once I get my dresser I can put my nail polish drawer on the thing oh come on whatever it's fine so I'm going to be putting them in there, but those are just in there for right now with the jewelry and making stuff. And this is just scrap paper. If you guys could see from my old closet, I just have scrap paper because some of the stuff I use and I need. And then in here, I have like albums and stuff. I'm not going to pop that anymore because it's not letting me. 
Actually, hold on. Give me a minute. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to keep these here, though, because I like them, how they're lined up with everything and the table and everything. So that's why I have them right here. And because when I moved in, I just put them right here. And I just, I like them that way. So I just have other odds and ends, like my projects I finished and stuff. Um, and then in here, I just have uh, a ton of envelope stuff. I'm not going to go through all of them. It's just, and then they have the labels on it, too. And it just has embellishments and other stuff in here. I need to find a bin to put all these envelopes because there is a lot. And then, you know, I just have more of these stuff. Uh, punch out letters, just etc. So, that is my one bin. And if you guys can see with these skinny drawers, it just have paper in here. Hold on. So I have like polka dotted, um, plain and striped paper. You guys can see. Um, vellum paper and like plaid and other stuff in here. And then I have other paper that is just etc. The other designs. So I just categorize them like I said before because I know what's in them and everything. And then I just have my sewing, no, not my sewing stuff, my fil filing stuff and everything. So I just have labels and stuff in here. And then I have my um, sewing stuff in here. And actually, you guys could see it kind of uh, shifted and everything, so I have to fix that later on. But I just have fabrics in here and stuff. Hold on, I'm going to fix that really quickly, actually, because it's kind of bothering me. It's just, it's all folded fabric because I don't have like a fabric bin yet, so I'm going to be getting one soon, I hope, because I want to start up sewing again and everything and actually really get into it because I have a brand new sewing machine and I really like sewing, so, but um, I just have my stacks of fabric. And then in here I have like my ribbons and my fabric paint and everything and then threads because I don't have that much sewing stuff like my mom does. So I just put it in one bin because that keeps it all contained and everything, like I said before. So that helps me stay organized too when I have things in one spot in the container it, so it keeps it all contained in one spot. So that is another organizing thing. So yeah, that is basically my craft room right now. It's probably going to change later on, but yeah, I'm glad I got it done. So yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, today, two day three vlog. And I'm sorry that um, I'm uploading this really, really late. It's just because um, I got caught up doing stuff. So that's why I'm uploading it really late. And I hope um, you guys like this. Um, if you guys like these type of vlogs then let me know in the comments below um and also if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you guys aren't following me on social media don't forget to go over my instagram and twitter and follow me on there so i can keep you guys updated and um yeah and i will see you guys tomorrow because i'm going to give you guys a room tour now all this is temporary so i will give you a final room tour once i get like a lot of stuff for the room so I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'm really sorry and apologize again for uploading this really late. So I will see you in my next vlog tomorrow. Bye, guys.